With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, in this question we have to show that the equation of the locus of a point which moves so that the sum of its distance from the two points which is k comma 0 and minus k comma 0 is equal to 2a is x square upon a square plus y square upon a square minus k square is equal to 1. Okay, this is what we have to prove. Okay, means we have two points, right? Let's say this is a which is k comma 0 and let's say this is b which is minus k comma 0. Okay, and we have one another point let's say this is q which is let's say p comma q okay then this distance distance q to a and the distance q to b will be this distance right so according to question this is q right according to question this QA plus QB is equal to 2A. This is according to question. Okay. Now, QA will be what? We know there is a concept. If you know, let's suppose you have a line, right? And you know two points on this line. Let's say A, B, which is X1, Y1. And this is, let's say, X2, Y2. Then the distance AB will be AB will be under root x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. This is the concept to finding for finding the distance between two points. Right? Now use this concept here. QA will be what? QA will be P minus Q p minus k whole square plus q minus 0 whole square under root right this will be q a plus q b will be what under root similarly p minus of minus k means p plus k whole square plus q minus 0 whole square will be equal to what 2 a right now this can be written as under root this p minus k will be as it is this will be q minus 0 q means q square you can write it as is equal to 2a this term will be this side minus this will be p plus k whole square plus q minus 0 is q only q square right now square on both side if you will square the whole term on both side like this then this will be what this will be this square root will will be cancel out so only will be p square plus q square minus 2 p q 2 p k right and this q square will be as it is Similarly, this will be a square means 4 square plus b square means this square root will be cancelled out. Okay, then this will be p square plus q square plus 2pq, 2pk plus this q square will be as it is minus minus 2ab, right? 2a will be 2a into b will be what? This whole term this will be b p plus k whole square plus q square right now if you will see carefully this p square this k square and this q square will be cancel out this p square k square and q square right so only you will be left with minus 2 pk 
and here is 2 p k plus 2 p k. So, you can take this term in this side, then this will be 4 p k, right? And this will be 4 square, and this will be as it is, minus 2, 2 to the 4 a, 4 a, and this under root term will be as it is, p plus k whole square plus q square right now if you will see carefully this if you will take 4 as common in this term, both term then this 4 and this 4 will be cancel out with this 4 right so you will be left with only what this minus a into under root this term will be this side then this will be plus a under root this will be p plus k whole square plus q square right and this minus p k comes this side then this a square will be as it is this a square and this will be plus p k okay clear now now square on both side again this will be like this okay then this will be what a square and this term will be this under root will be cancel out with this square so this will be p plus k whole square p square plus k square plus 2 p k plus q square right and this will be a to the power 4 plus p square k square plus 2a square p k right now now divide the whole equation by a square okay divide the whole equation by a square this side also and this side also then this will be what if you will see this a square a square will be cancel out so only will be p square plus k square plus 2 p k plus q square will be this will be a to the power 4 by a square will be a square plus this will be p square k square by a square right and this will be this will be a square a square cancel out 2 p k now if you will see carefully this 2 p k and this 2 p k will be cancel out okay now this can be rewrite as this q square will be as it is and this a square plus p square k square upon a square will be as it is and this p square plus q square will come this side then this will be minus p square minus k square right now if you will see carefully this will be this a square and minus k square will be together a square minus k square right and from these two terms you can take common minus p square okay if you will take minus p square common then this will be 1 minus k square upon a square right now solve this this q square will be as it is and this a square minus k square will be as it is and this minus p square this will be what a square minus k square upon this will be upon a square right now now divide the whole equation divide the whole equation whole equation by what a square minus k square okay then this will be what then left side will be q square upon a square minus k square right a square minus k square and this will be 1 a square minus k square by a square minus k square will be 1 minus this will be what p minus p square upon a square right 
this a square minus k square and with this a square minus k square will be cancelled out right so this will be 1 minus p square minus a square only now if you will see if this will come this side then this will be p square upon a square plus q square upon a square minus k square is equal to 1 now since this is a locus so you can replace this p q with what x comma y so this will be x square upon a square plus y square upon a square minus k square is equal to 1 and this is what we had to probed hence probed you can see here in the question this term okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today